but in terms of the Offaly team uh, here today as well. But the one good thing, as I said a moment ago, is Finbar Cullen is in the lineup. Yeah. In Tullamore, it's Leash and Offaly in the Leicester Football Championship replay coming up right after this commercial break. today and uh, the toss about to take place in the middle of the field in for Stir, the leash captain Cahill Daly, uh, the Offaly captain, toss of the coin he's showing it to the leash captain and it looks like uh, Offaly and Cahill Daly have won that toss and indicating which way they want to play and the little words of wisdom as well now lads we're all at the television live this afternoon let's have a good game give the people at home something to look at and please don't get sent off because I'll have to send you off if you're not behaving yourselves Finally, the Offaly forwards, the last, they tend to snap a lot of the shots. They will have to have a lot more composure in front of goal. They wasted a lot of chances, but that wind is going to be very tough. Even for if they start like that at the start of this game today, they will be hard to beat. There is pressure on the leash players here today. We spoke about it earlier on. You know, I think the Mikko factor on their shoulders too brings a lot of pressure. You know, we've seen the league final. They didn't handle it that well today, you know, the last day. How they handle probably the favourites tie going in today I yeah. think you know a lot of the younger players are going to have to come up trumps today OK Bernard we've looked at the customary position of centre back Alan McNamee and Kieran McManus was with James Grennan normally can play at centre field but he's actually retained at left half forward Massive debutante in O'Moore Park teenager Niall McNamee selectors weren't over impressed with some aspects of their display in the drawn match subsequently there are some changes Derek Conroy, while McDonald is named as a centre-back, uh, Tom Kelly is actually expected to transfer to... And uh, there's the change as well in the attack where Kieran Kelly is not is actually going to start instead of Damien Delaney in the corner. Uh, this bank holiday Monday in the capital town of County Offaly. Neville Cotlett. Sending it in towards John Reynolds, who's moved out towards the corner where Pascal Keeler has the first Offaly attack. Real one. Niall McNamee unable to reach it. Breaking ball picked up by Tom Kelly, who, as anticipated, started at centre back. Kieran McManus coming from centre back as Finbar Cullen getting his first touch. Niall McNamee. Has to go back outside. A chance for John Reynolds, and that too. Portwood has quite a good kick out and varies them as well. Once again, it's awfully Greg Clancy has to go down uh, into his own half back line to try and gather possession. This is the first time Leash have crossed the halfway point. And that's going to be a free. Michael Ryan, the linesman from Limerick, indicating it's a sideline ball. Down. Finbar Cullen is waiting outside. So too is McNamee, but he's leaving them down. Here's Tom Kelly. Down for us by McDonald. Bino. Cahill Daly staying with him, having switched. Kevin Fitzpatrick. Nice ball inside. Chance for Ian Fitzgerald. And that's over the bar. Well, off Michael here. And the guy that gets it, very important to Leash. I think Ian Fitzgerald really has to have a big game in him. I think Dwyer has stayed with him all year. Four points against Leash yesterday week. All of them frees. This is his first attempt this afternoon. And the sides are level. Yesterday week. And it hits off the very top of the post. Comes down towards another debutante. McNamee who couldn't get there and it's cleared down the line towards Mick Lawler scored a goal and four points yesterday week Bino McDonald gets away from Daly Fitzgerald is available to his left but awfully regroup and reorder made a lot of space for himself but uh, the final ball was poor a lot of possession you know I, I'd like to see him score a bit more that was a chance for him I'd expect he's a classy player I'd expect him got much closer to the target Noel Garvin. Mick Lawler wants to pump it in long. It's two against one here. Here's a chance of a goal. Ian Fitzgerald again. The tactical switch by Mick. Last Sunday week, we saw the long ball by Offaly causing problems for Leash. Now it's the other way around. Kevin Meehan totally exposed. 
the long ball by Lawler caught beautifully by Fitzgerald where was the awfully defender here but the finish was superb and a point essentially and the awfully full back line will have to reconsider matters get a little bit tight Lawler the strategy is quite clear to see it's a long ball in and here it is to Fitzgerald and a brilliant save by Meehan wonderful goalkeeping faithful wave left and right plenty of support trying to burst burst through is James Grennan to give off a little bit of confidence that's the angle should be an easy tap over for a free taker of this quality and it is isn't it interesting though Kevin to see now Leash who have very much developed showing well back to Lawler it's very high, an old-fashioned Gary Owen, but it's well wide at the time. Asked his players to give him an early birthday present. Today week, he's going to be 67 years of age. So far, they've produced the goods. Regained possession. Easily intercepted. By Barry Mooney. Long ball again. Gathered by the opposite number four, Joe Higgins. Available this side is Noel Garvin. Darren Rooney, Corey Clancy. Rooney is on his outside. This is Rooney. Long ball again. But the wind carries it over the sidelines. Noel Garvin and Tom Kelly that combine. The referee spotted another off the ball as uh, the ball had been delivered. The leashman is still down injured. Brian Crow, the referee, checks with him. But this is Ian Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is on four. A goal and two points for the leash captain. The transfer from centre forward to corner forward is paying huge dividends for the visitor. Lovely left for a kick, excellent point. And uh, you know, as I said earlier on, Fitzgerald is a super player. I don't think he's delivered so far for Leash, but this first getting away from Carl Slattery and Munnane joins in Fitzgerald on the scoreboard with a fine point. Very Contra contrast the start, Marty, that uh, Leash have made to uh, Moore Park last week. They're on fire at the moment. Here, here it comes again. Long ball. Ian Fitzgerald. Barry Mooney is staying with him. Coming into the system is Brian McDonald. Back to Fitzgerald. Back to uh, Brian McDonald. Here comes the kick. Here comes the point. Firmly in the driving seat. Look at this. Fitzgerald back to Bino. Out in the wing. Judged the wind perfectly. Sent it over the bar. And it's this two-man full forward like this. Colum Byrne with the, t with the uh, challenge. Look at the fullback. Ger Rafferty, who's out around midfield. Pascal Keelan. Great marking by Leach. Back to Alan McNamee. Superb lockdown. Pascal Keelan tussling with Ross Munnelly. Great-hearted player. Great combination football by Leash. Mick Lawler, man of the match for the visitors last Sunday week. They're playing wonderful football and awfully are torn apart. They're barely holding on. Tom Kelly, given a lot of space by his direct marker, Neville Coughlin. But well won this time by back. On the blind side is Pascal Keelham. McNamee goes it himself. There's two on him. He still manages to get the kick in. Points Colum Quinn on the scoreboard for Offaly, but it's Offaly's first point from play. Look at the space he's given again. Offaly have to start marking from back here. This time they're dispossessive. And away. the referee has blown his whistle. And the Quinn from Ballycumber going for his third point. And that's how you punish people that pull jerseys and so on. Slattery may have, may have missed the chance. Fitzgerald. Coming from left half back is Aidan Fennelly. Reed off over the bar. When he connects, it's just a joy to watch. And I think Fergal Byron will be happy this time that McMahon. It may be the second day of June, but unfortunately we now have a rain shower here and it's quite heavy. Ross Munnelly the Carl Slattery putting him under pressure. Corey Clancy 
putting this across the face of the goal and wide. Can he get away from his marker, Paul McDonald? Still McNamee, trying to make an angle. Kicks it firmly and over the bar. Crack and score. English's fabulous start, the two-man strategy that exposed the Offaly defence. A wonderful response by the faithful county. A young man. Mick Lawler comes looking for it. Seeks out Fino McDonald instead. The option is there as Pori Clancy comes through from centre field. It looks good. It is good. Another white flag raised to salute a leash score. Wonderful vision by Bino McDonald, who saw Clancy coming through from a centre field spot, and he hit it. It's a testing one for Meehan. Open up the play by switching the direction from left to right or vice versa. Here's a chance. Chance for McManus, a second goal, and denied on the line. As well, from an awfully viewpoint. A chance here for Reynolds. A chance for McManus. Stopped on the line by Aidan Finnelly. A heart-stopping moment, but wonderful play. And wouldn't it have been amazing for McManus to score a second goal in the space of eight? This to level the tie for the third time. This one sneaked away. Dropping this in, but there's nobody. Oh, it escapes the defender, Colin Byrne. And Krogh becoming a little bit impatient. Again, awfully adopting this tactic in midfield. They're not trying to catch it at all, just knock it down. Mick Lawler picks it up this time. Easy ball, even at 18 years of age. Nice balance. Trying to get away from Paul McDonald. Calling for it in the centre. Gerard Neville Coughlin. Change of direction again. Decides for a short ball. Back to Alan McNamee. They're playing keep ball here. Colm Quinn thought about using Gerard Decides to go the other direction. Neville Coughlin now comes to the direction in change of direction over towards John Kenny. They keep holding possession. That seemed to slice off the boot and it goes well wide. A different uh, setup from Leash in the second out. Like if I mention the name Mick Lawler, we haven't seen him this half. Well, I think it's going. Um, well, we'd be very happy with the start that we got. Um, Ian Fitzgerald was doing very well inside full forward and still is. Um, only the point up would have hoped to be in a, a few extra, have another few scores on the board. Uh, we seem to be doing damage when we get the ball in early into the full forward line, into the two boys inside. So, you know, the awfully full back line, high ball in again, they were going around like headless chickens. Ian Fitzgerald finished, the goalkeeper nearly got his hand to it, a great goal. Mm. You'll see it going in, straight in, high ball, the full back, I mean, God knows what Joe Rafferty, what he was thinking of. He was going around there. Nobody knew what was going on in the full-back lane. So they had to get their act together. A great finish again with a right foot for a left-footed player. But no, this, chance, this is the chance, another high ball. Same type of move, yeah. Bean McDonald, high in again. Ian Fitzgerald, Joe Rafferty again. But an absolutely brilliant save for, from a leash point of view going into the game. But definitely not yeah. now. You know, they're up for it. The players are a yard sharper than the Offaly players. They are, even though Offaly are digging everything else. It's about all we could do. No hair dryers, no nothing. But Kevin McStay and myself are ready for the second half. We enjoyed it. I think you uh, certainly were intrigued by the tactics here in this uh, first half. And I mentioned Mick Lawler just before the break before we were down to the sideline. We haven't seen a whole lot of him. He was one of their top players last week and I'm expecting a lot more from him. Change of change in the leash team at half time. Kevin Fitzpatrick seems to have gone. Donald Miller is in. I'll tell you more about that when we uh, see Donald Miller. But uh, the sunshine, thankfully, difficult angle. It's curling, and it's just gone to that again. McManus managed to sneak one through for his left half back, Carl Slattery, who's gone into a half forward position. He's going to go it himself, but it's dropping short for McNamee. John Reynolds did well. Facing him is Noel Garvin. Reynolds with the speed. Well stopped by Farrell by the captain, Ian Fitzgerald. Gone forward is Ross Munnerley and Daly comes across. Good anticipation, good cornerback play. Finbar Cullen is there, and that's a high. Pascal Keelahan normally takes the freeze from this angle. Umpires consult, white flag. Now, 
here in Tullamore. Retained his place since as we look at the sandwich again. Oh, it's even painful looking at it up here. Lawler. It's two against two here. It could fall either way. Kevin Meehan had to be alert. Here on McManus. Anxious to give the long ball. Tom Kelly unmarked at centre back. Uses Ross Munnelly, who's given an amount of space, very involved, always available. As is Tom Kelly, the centre back. Mick Lawler. Forward with it. It's McManus. Hits it in, but it's well, well. Force forward as well. Uses Neville Cochlear. Chance of a score here. If it can reach it, it can. This was a very good score, well worked. And Grennan just seemed to lose his balance, but he had enough power, and the accuracy was up to scratch. And it was a great Long ball. Knocked down Ross Munnerly. They have a chance here. Bino. McDonald. Oh, the finish. Sublime. And it came awkwardly to him, but he knew what he was doing. You see in the replay how well he adjusted, Marty. He lost control on his first touch, but this guy is a real goal ador when he gets in around the spot. Excellent execution, just as the keeper was coming out to claim it. Gets the foot to it. We'll see it here. Lovely dish from Munley. First touch let him down a wee bit. Soccered it beautifully in. Great goal. Very good finish by McDonald. Set up by Munley. Finish here. He lost it here, but he struck out well here on McManus difficult kick has to judge it with the breeze too difficult for him still there for Offaly James Grinnett Colum Quinn oh that's a good ball just skidded off the surface over towards McManus once more he'll try again this time from the hands this time the result is the same. Emerson and Gary Kavner on. Long ball aimed at McDonald's, knocked away by Cahill Daly from Tullamore. The only all-star away from goal in the second half. That breeze causing problems. Kevin Meehan releasing it far. Pass intercepted. Huey Emerson. Brian McDonald, Kevin Meehan, confident under the high ball, did well, gives it long, but again, Tom Kelly is there, Aidan Finnelly, Ross Munnelly, Brian McDonald, giving it back towards Aidan Finnelly, testing ball again for the keeper, and Meehan did well, very well. He's making a dash back, but uh, Paul Daly is there. To the Rooney. Leash have options here. A chance of a point. Called in beautifully. Gary Kavner, the scorer. This is a young man that was out injured for a large part of the winter. He did play championship last season was a first-choice player, and you can see why with this sort of point-taking ability. This was the save by Meehan. As Kavner came in, Meehan did very well along. Vinny Claffey battling for it for Offaly. Flicking it outside, tries Niall McNamee. A sea of blue jerseys confronts them. And Leash counter-attack. Tom Kelly comes again from a central defensive position to Ross Munnelly. Now that is really good football. Sweeping from five passes, and it ends with Ross Munnelly's second point of the day here in Tullamore. Beautiful combination football. And one of the better scores of the day, you have to say. One thing about Mika Dwyer's team, they're always adventurous to throw the... Pino McDonald. Down inside. Oh, that's a great block down by Carl Daly because Huey Emerson had sneaked inside. Will it curl in the breeze? 
It's over the bar. Well, maybe that's why he's there, I suppose. But uh, you'd have to say he did huge damage in the first half. He's still, he's still picking up a lot of ball, and that's a, a super score. Pushes out the gap now to four points. Forward seems to have worked as well for Leash, but uh, as Kevin was making the point, he was doing so well in the corner. Another effort here by Noel Garvin. And another point. Leash are rocking and rolling in Tullamore. Two, you'd have to say they're pushing out of sight. Well, he scored a an effort that is tailing to the right and wide. Taken off his marker, which happened to be, I think, Ian Fitzgerald. Cahal Daly just getting a touch there. Else, gone outside is Barry Mooney. Chance of a point. And the corner back comes forward to score. Although Barry normally plays as a cornerback. Lovely speed, lovely turn by Ross Munnelly, who's very quickly becoming one of the stars of the championship. Outside, Huey Emerson. Back to Brian McDonald. Paul Daly. Flicking outside players, Gary Kavner. Offaly, all behind the ball defending. But more importantly, it's Leash that have the ball. Coming off his goal line was Kieran Mac that opening 35 minutes. With him, Tom. Uh, Joe Higgins, nicely dispossessed. Donald Miller, giving it long, Ian Fitzgerald. Joe Raftery with Huey Emerson. Back out to Kavna. Shot a goal, left and Gary Kavna. Fitzgerald wanted, but look at the wind. Curl it back into the off lead. Garvin. Over the side, Brian McDonald. And that's over the bar. And Leash now look well on their way to victory here. Yeah, the game has gone quite open now. I'm alone again, cutting through. Nice opportunity here, nice. Happy, I'm sure, to just tap this one over. Five points. Five out of victory here, which looks likely. Huey Emerson. Always a favourite with the Leash crowd. Ross Munnerly feeding Brian McDonald. Munley gone inside. Back to Munley. Angles. Oh, that is. Oh, I thought it was going over the bar. Just seemed a little bit. Matthew Mitchell setting up this attack, and there's a high challenge here. Yeah, he's definitely in trouble for this one, I would say. It's for Leash today, and one red. This one dropping in. Right under the crossbar. Noel Garvin. Clearance is not a good one. Barry Mooney going for a second point. And that is done over the bar. Not a bad day's work for a cornerback. Fergal Byron. Beautifully actual playing time. Three minutes to be added on. If it was anybody else but Offaly, you'd say this game was over. Offaly need a goal. They have three minutes of added time to save. Yep. Colm Quinn, long ball in, Vinny Traffy. The ball is loose, there's another Offaly man down, and again, Lee survived. Tense, anxious moments in O'Connor Park. Ross Munnelly is brought down, and the ref have it, trying to sneak it in. Half blocked by Colm Byrne, free out to Leash. Tense, anxious moments. And it has blown the full-time whistle. And Leash have come to Tullamore and conquered. Nick O'Dwyer has indeed received an early birthday present. But they finish with 13 men. Paul McDonald sent off. Ian Fitzgerald sent off. And most importantly, as Kevin pointed out, for a second yellow, second uh, offence. And if that could be a vital factor. For Offaly, they're out of the Leinster Championship. It's Leash, 210. Offaly, 13 points. Let's go down to the sideline for some post match reaction. Nick O'Dwyer, you must have enjoyed that. Yeah, it was a great game, a classic championship game. Oh, it was wonderful stuff. 
and we got some great scores. But it's unbelievable that we didn't get one free within 50 yards of the goal. We didn't get one free in the whole hour in 10 minutes inside 50 yards. And he put off two fellas for menial fouls, in my opinion. I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. That must be a record. Has that left a bit of a sour taste finishing with 13 for you? Well, I suppose in a way it did, you know. But I mean, that's football. We have to put up with that type of stuff. As you know yourself, you have to accept what goes on. But it's going to weaken us quite a bit for the next game. But I'd, maybe they only might get two weeks. I don't know. I'm not too sure. So we'll only have to wait and see. The tension at the end was something else. Bearing in mind what happened last week. Kitchen was an awful great championship team. They're quite capable of coming back at any time. But I think our fellas gave it 100% today. And you know they played with fire spirit. Our two midfielders up their game from the last day. It was a great game and a great one to win. Well done, Mick Thank you.